So last night, I binge watched the entire season of The End of the Effing World, the new series up on Netflix. And today we're going to be reviewing the first season as well as how it pertains to self-harm as well as depression, so stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And yes, we will be reviewing season one of The End of the Effing World. And if you haven't seen it yet, do not fret because there will be no spoilers in this video. And what I mean by that is nothing I will say is anything that you cannot find in the trailer. But in short, I did love the season. There was a couple weird things, but I'm not here to do an in-depth analysis on it. I am a mental health channel, so if you're into channels that help you out with your mental health, I'm here to give you suggestions about depression, talk a little bit about the uh, symptoms of depression. So if you like that kind of stuff, be sure to click that little subscribe button. All right, so if you haven't seen the trailer at least, basically this show uh, is about a young boy named James. He's about 17. He is somebody who's been harming animals and now his plan is to kill an actual person. So he tricks a girl into falling in love with him and his plan is to murder her. So I won't tell you how that whole thing ends up, but the topics I wanna to talk about today as how it pertains to depression mainly is the feeling of numbness around depression. I think a lot of people, when we talk about depression, you think of just uh, uh, sadness or a lot of negative self-talk, low self-esteem, not feeling good enough, the whole world's out to get me, self-pity and all these things. But one of the symptoms of depression that we need to talk about is this feeling of numbness, this, this inability to feel. And I think this show did a very good job depicting that with James and how he doesn't feel. At a very young age, they show this through James doing some self-harm. And this is one of, one of the many reasons why people self-harm. So James, as a young boy, his dad bought a deep fryer and James just straight up takes his hand and he plunges it into the deep fryer just to feel something. And it obviously messes up his hand and he lives with this for the rest of his life. But this is one of the reasons why people self-harm. They have this feeling of numbness and the only way they can feel something is through some kind of physical pain. As this goes on, James ends up starting to harm animals. He finds some kind of relief when he harms animals, which is pretty twisted, but this is how, you know, uh, if you're into serial killers, how some serial killers start. They start by harming animals. And when that wasn't enough, James decides that he's going to find a person to do this with. So one of the, one of the problems with depression is when you're not feeling anything, you're constantly seeking a way to feel. Now, those of you who are new here to my channel, I also talk a lot about addiction. One of the reasons that people become addicted is because they are trying to feel something. One of the leading causes of addiction is symptoms of mental illness. So when people can't feel anything due to depression and it's been undiagnosed, they might turn to drugs as a way to do this. So the three reasons why people use drugs is to get a feeling, to get rid of a feeling, or to have an escape. So when it pertains to depression and those feelings of numbness, people are going to turn to a substance or self-harm or crazy behavior as a way to feel something. Now, as it pertains to addiction, what happens is, is that we're training our brain so that whenever you're feeling numb and you want to feel something, use this substance. And after repeating this cycle over and over and over again, the brain becomes dependent to it. And most of these drugs, as well as alcohol, when you keep abusing them, then you start to increase your symptoms of depression. So basically what, what I'm here to do, what my channel is about, is try to give you different methods and suggestions and advice and tools on scientifically proven methods to get out of depression. Now, when it comes to not being able to feel anything, this is based on different neurotransmitters in your brain. So the first suggestion is to see a doctor, see a psychiatrist, see somebody to talk about these symptoms because what it is, is it, it's an improper tuning of the neurotransmitters in your brain. And different antidepressant medications, they're not these immediate happy pills, and I've done other videos on antidepressants, but what they do is, is they start regenerating certain neurotransmitters. So an antidepressant might be able to help you. Now, if you're somebody who likes to read, one of the best books that I've ever read on depression 
uh, and neuroscience is this book called The Upward Spiral by Alex Korb, all right? I will link in the description below to this book as well as the rest of my reading list, but this book has various chapters on how to kind of hack your brain. It's kind of the foundation of my depression hack series. It's how to hack your brain to get motivated, to experience uh, pleasure in very natural ways. And the author does this by showing a lot of different uh, scientific studies and experiments that they've done with people where they monitor the brains and they see how these neurotransmitters actually start to flow. So again, if you wanna check that book out, please check the description below. And if you're somebody who feels like you need therapy, maybe you're already on an antidepressant or you just wanna talk to somebody, you're not sure if you're struggling with the symptoms of depression, there is also going to be a link in the description below for some online therapy. So both the links to the book as well as to the online therapy. These are both affiliate links. So anytime you use one of these links, it does help support this channel so I can make more videos to help you and everybody else with symptoms of mental illness. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go check out The End of the Effing World. It's an interesting series. I'm wondering what's gonna happen in season two. So go check it out. And again, if you're new here, please click the little round subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. I'm always making videos to help out you with your symptoms of mental illness, as well as your emotional well-being and addiction recovery. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.